Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie. I am a wife of four years. I have an 11 month old son and I am just trying to get life together today. I am making a pot roast first and then I'm hoping to stretch it out with two more meals. So this is my frozen pot roast. It's actually half of one. I have the other half in the freezer and I'm gonna use my pressure cooker, my Farberware pressure cooker to cook it. I'm gonna use the slow cook function and I'm kinda of making up this recipe as I go. You have to have liquid in it. So I'm gonna do this beef stock liquid and then I'm also gonna add ranch dressing, onion soup mix, and then of course I'll have potatoes and carrots and um, butter is actually gonna go in here too. So I'm gonna cook that and we're gonna have that for supper tonight and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it will go good. <laughs> but we'll just have to see. So here we go. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. There's potatoes and carrots. You can kind of see a carrot down there and then the roast and then the ranch and the onion and the butter on top. So, and the beef stock's way down in there at the bottom. So we'll start cooking this and hopefully it will be good tonight when we eat it. Okay guys, meal number one with the pork roast is done. We have roast and it was super tender. It just falls apart. Um, and then we have, my husband doesn't like carrots, so he has potatoes, and I have carrots and potatoes. And then Benny has rice a -roni and a mashed up potato out of there. So we'll see how much of that he eats. But we got a lot of meat, and it's super tender. A lot of juice came out of it. Um, there's potatoes and carrots down in there. It's just a lot of juice. But so far, it tastes really good, and I really like the recipe that I used. And so we'll probably use it again. Okay guys, so we finished supper and everything, and so I wanna show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of this. This is what I'm taking to work tomorrow. It's mostly potatoes, just cause my husband doesn't eat leftovers, and so whatever vegetables were left, that's what I'm taking. And then just a little bit of meat. And then I have this will be for stew on Tuesday. And this, we're gonna make barbecue sandwiches for tomorrow. So I got that all separated. I got some potatoes for baby Ben for tomorrow. And it went a long way. It was good. Husband approved. Benny approved of the potatoes. So I approve of this pressure cooker. And so we'll get three meals out of half of a pork loin. And it is easy because we're a small family. But at the same time, it's hard to make meals for a small family and not have a lot of waste. So that's what we're doing with that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I just took the leftover meat and put some barbecue sauce in it and just heated it up on low until it started to fall apart and so then I broke it apart and now it's just in there waiting for the chips to get done. On the potatoes, all I do is I just stick them in here until they get super brown. It's almost too brown, but my husband likes them super crunchy. So I just let them get all the way brown. And then I get them all out. And usually I'm not holding the baby. He just is a little bit needy for his mama tonight. So I put them all there. That soaks them up. And while they still have grease on them, you want to put salt on them if you like salt. That way it will soak it up. And that's it. This is not healthy. If I was going to be healthy, I would put vegetables on the side or you could do um, maybe some sweet potato chips or something like that but we're not being healthy tonight we're just eating and I will show you Ben had rice for supper and so this is what his high chair looks like just for fun he wouldn't eat he doesn't really eat a lot of meat unless it's really tender chicken so if we had chicken he would have that but since we're having pork we're gonna let him eat the rice or he already did eat the rice Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now, and I was just going to prep my meals for the rest of the week. I left my cabinet open, but um, I had enough meat left for the rest of the week. Today is Tuesday, so I have some for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the last for the rest of the work week. Um, and then I'm going to steam some vegetables. These are like frozen; <laughs> these are burnt a little bit, but that's okay because this really cooks them, and the way I cook it is makes them flavorful. So what I do is I just put a cup of 
organic chicken stock. It doesn't have to be organic. I just happened to buy organic last time I bought it. Um, organic chicken stock into my pressure cooker. So I have this little handy dandy cup that came with it. So I fill it up to a cup. And then I just dump that in there. And that's just to give it steam. And so it only takes about eight minutes to cook, about 10 total after it um, warms up and everything. So I'll have a bunch of veggies to put with this for tomorrow in the next few days. And I did have a little bit extra and I'll probably um, actually eat that for breakfast on Saturday just because my husband doesn't eat leftovers. So I have to find ways to eat leftovers if I don't want stuff to go bad. So sometimes I eat weird breakfasts. Breakfasts. Breakfasts? Breakfast? Whatever. But um, I'll let you guys know what I end up doing with it. And I will show you in just a little bit what I'm going to do with the rest of the meat. For tomorrow, uh, the last meal we're having with the pork loin is stew, and um, I'll show you what I'm going to put in it. I'm going to put green beans, corn, this is tomato sauce that we made. Every summer we do a garden and we always make tomato sauce, so this is ours. And then I'm going to put, usually do beef stew, so I'm going to put beef stock in it, just because you have to have liquid to use the pressure cooker. And I think this would just make, help make the taste a little bit better. And then I also cut up some potatoes and onions and I put them in water with salt and that should help the potatoes not to brown so much while they're in the fridge. I just did that so that I could just throw them in in the morning. So that's what we're gonna do with the stew. And there's, I'm just when, when I put this in, I'll just put this in so I have the water to dilute the tomato sauce and the salt will help add flavor. So I'll dump all that in in the morning and then tomorrow we'll have stew for supper. Good morning guys. It is the third day. We are having stew for supper. We're getting ready to go to work and so I'm going to dump it all into my pressure cooker. I got it ready to go here and then we'll be able to have some yummy stew for supper. And I did find some diced tomatoes. We had um I don't even remember what we had. Oh, we had uh, tacos the other day, and I only used some of the diced tomatoes, and so um, I have half of a can left, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump those in there just so we'll have some tomatoes in the stew. But um, I'm gonna get going so we can get to work. And I wanted to show you guys too, my trick did work. My potatoes are still white. They're not brown, so if you just add them to water and put a little bit of salt in there, um, they won't turn brown. So that's a good trick if you want to prep the day before and not have brown potatoes. So it's actually the next day and we didn't have stew last night because we got invited to go out to eat with my husband's grandparents and you never say no to dinner with grandparents. So what I did was I put the stew in the fridge. Let me open it. I, it's recooked now. But I took out the insert and I put just foil over it 
and stuck it in the fridge and then I stuck it back in my pressure cooker and I just did the keep warm setting. I don't know if you can see it. Keep warm and it, it cooks it kind of for, or warms it for two hours. And so I turned it on at eight something I think this morning. And so it's been warming up. I need to stir it and break up the meat, but we're gonna have stew for lunch today. And then I will have plenty to take to work. I can freeze it. Stew is perfect for freezing. Um, ben can eat stew. He's 11 months old. I just kind of mash up the veggies and the meat is super tender so he can eat that. But um, that's what we're gonna have for lunch today instead of for supper yesterday. <laughs> And we're going to um, have some of the stew that was left over from the last meal. So this is enough for us to have for lunch. What we're going to have, I'm heating it up. It's still frozen right now. But then I also still had four meals to take to work. So I'll take these to work throughout whenever I get to it. But that made a lot. We had plenty of food just from that half of a pork loin. We still have, or pork roast. We still have the other half in the fridge. So we'll get six meals at least out of it. So that was a good thing. If you want to see more videos of what we eat, how we um, make our food last a long time, just leave me a comment in below. And if you want more recipes in the Instant Pot, also leave me a comment below. Hit like if you liked it, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.